All right, first of all, you're going to copy the red chorus. So I will just come out on to the left margin, click hold, and drag down. And I will copy so that you can see it right here. So that is now copied. And next, uh, we're going to select this asterisk. Now I want to make sure that I catch the paragraph return marker there. And, and, and I do. I can see that extra little gray. Uh, that's what, it, what it's covering. And when I paste this time, and I'll do it here, but you can use any type of paste that you want. Oh, actually, I've asked you to paste with the drop down arrow here and to use the merge formatting. And what will happen is that it is going to not keep the source formatting like the last exercise. It didn't keep the red. It merged. Now the next time that you do it, it's going to look slightly different. I want to show you why. Is because if I select this asterisk, you can see I have Arial Black 13. And down here I have yet a different font, Arial Rounded. So watch the difference from here, which is Times New Roman 13, no bolding. Okay, so select here. And we've already copied it, so the red text is sitting on the clipboard. And now we're going to paste it. We're going to merge the formatting and you can see that it's black and it has all the settings that uh, this asterisk has. So let's do it one last time here. You can finish everywhere that you see this, the asterisk. Uh, and this time it should look a little bit different. Okay, so that's what the merge formatting option does is it takes where it lands the font that that was already set and it takes that formatting for the pasted text